Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Codepipe. In this video, we will see how we can send mail using Django with the help of Gmail. Let's get started. This is a very normal home page using HTML design. In this video, we are only focusing on sending email through Django. So we are ignoring all the other stuff. We are just using a normal form into an HTML page. So we have name, subject, message and one button with the name send mail. I am assuming that we already have some information or some knowledge about Django. But again, let me give you a walkthrough of my setup. This is my Visual Studio code. I have started a project with the name mail demo. I did not make any other applications because I could do with this file also. Here I have made a new file with the name views.py. In views.py I have one simple function and I have also used class so that I can show using these two we can send email. In our views.py we have a very basic function which will render the HTML template. Then we have a function which will help us in sending the mail. So this will be redirection of the form and in our home.html I have the HTML template and then I have just added a form and one heading. Now without wasting any time let's see how we can send the email. First Let's test if our information is transferred from the front end to back end. For that in my views.py I am using print so that I am printing all the name message and subject I am getting. So let's test it out. In the name I will put test name test subject and test message. If I click send mail it is redirecting to the same page. If we see our terminal we can see we have test name, test subject and test message which means our information is being passed from the front end to back end. How this is done is we are using the method of post in our home.html to send any information from form to our back end Django we need to use the method post here and when we are using this in our views.py we have to check if the method is post or get. So if it is post I am getting all the name subject and message using the get function and then I am printing them. So this is how our form is sending the data to backend. Now let's see how we can send mail. For that first of all we will import a library which will be send mail from django.core.mail and now we will use this method or function here which will be send underscore mail. The arguments will look something like this. So first will be subject then will be the message and then it will be from example or from the mail then we can have two mail and this is a list so we can add more than two mail then there is something called fail silently fail silently is a boolean and as the name suggests it will either fail silently or it will raise an error based on the value so if it is put to false it will raise an error if it is put to true it will not raise an error it will fail silently. So let's put our subject here. Our subject is subject. Our message will be just message. In the from mail make sure that you are using Gmail email only because we will be using backend for Gmail. So let me put my personal Gmail that will be and in to mail we can put anything. So let me just put a mail. Now what we have to do is we have to go to settings go down and you have to use these values. These are default for Gmail. So email host will be smtp.gmail.com email port will be same email use TLS will be true and sometimes if we want we can make it false but it's convenient if we make it true only. Now we have host username and host password. So username will be our email and for the password let me take you to Gmail account. This is my Google account and you can use the URL which is myaccount.google.com to get to your Google account. Now we'll go to security. If we scroll down we can see we have signing into Google. First of all I will strongly suggest you to make a two-step verification on on your Google account. This will not only help us easily in this project but it will keep your Google account safe. So once we have turned on the two-step verification we can go to app passwords here it will ask for your confirmation. On this page we have to create a password for our application and that application will be Django. 
but for that we will use mail on let's say windows computer and we will generate and we will get the password here so we will copy and we will go to our editor under this email host password I will put this and obviously I will be deactivating it in a while after the video so let's save this and try to run it so python manage.py run server running fine let's try to send something test name test subject and test message if we click on send mail here we are getting one error saying that it is unexpected keyword argument fail silently and believe me this was intentional i just wanted to show you what not to do so if we go back to our editor here we can see the function we have defined is send mail and the django function for sending mail is also send mail so we need to change this name and this is a reminder that we should never use the same name as the function name so let me make it gmail in our urls also send gmail here also send gmail save now if we reload this we are coming back to the page which means our function has run and here you can see i have got a mail from this email saying test subject and test mail hence our email is successfully running well this was easy and i was hoping we will get one smtp error i will try to put the image of the error on the screen to overcome the smtp error let's go to our google account again here we have successfully created the account password or the app password we have to do something called unlock display captcha for that we have to go to this particular link which will display unlock captcha i will provide the link in the description if we go here we will do the continue and once this is done we can access our google account from different apps or the passwords that we have created here for my account it was already created so i was able to send mail easily but if you are doing it for the first time you will probably get the smtp error so please go to this link and enable it to sum it up we have to put the settings in the settings.py we have to use send mail function in the views.py we have to create two step authentication and app password then we have to go to unlock captcha to enable access to the google account so this is all we have to do to send email using gmail from django but if we go to our settings here we can see our username and password are out in open if we put it in a github repository it will be in open so in this section we will be seeing how we can hide them using dot env or django environment variables so first of all we will close the server we will install one library which is pip install django envirn once this is installed we will create a dot env file in our folder where settings.py is available so we will make a dot env file and make sure that dot env file is added to your dot git ignore file here i will write email user just a note here let's not give any spaces between equal to and the variables sometimes it raises an error and here i will write user password i will cut the username from here and put it in our env now in our settings.py we have to import our environment so here we will import and initialize our environment variables using this we will import and then we will use environment.env and read env to read our variables for our username we will use env and if we remember correctly we will use email user and env email underscore pass let's try running our application once again so python manage.py run server we are getting one error name email user is not defined okay so what we are missing is we have to put them in quotes now it should run let's go to our browser let's put test one test subject one test message one now send mail it is processed completely we have got our mail here we can see test subject one test message one so this is still working hence using django environment variables are very useful whenever we are 
giving it to someone else or creating an application for someone else where we don't have to share our confidential data like email and password now you can use this environment variable for our django secret key that is available here so i can say secret key in env file i will cut this and paste this here save save for secret key i will use env in bracket i have used the same name so i will just copy paste it save and once it is reloading name env is not defined okay so we have imported it later i will cut it from here paste it on top save and if we try to run again it is running on our server if we refresh it is running fine with this i conclude my video and we have successfully seen how we can send mail using gmail and how we can activate our google account to be used for sending emails then we have used how to protect our email and passwords and secret key using django environment variables i hope this video is useful for you if you find it informational please leave a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it to other users if you are new to the channel please subscribe i make videos on django and web development and some other machine learning and python modules also and if you are coming again please hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my further videos let me know your thoughts in the comment section we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios